Hey guys, what's up? I'm Queen Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here on the set of the ABC Family Show and Listen Joey for their 100th episode. Whoa! Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you so good. much. Congratulations on 100 episodes. I know, it's pretty cool. How does that feel? It feels great. Yes? Yeah. I mean, it's a milestone, you know, especially in this age where there's so many, so many options and choices, you know, to get to 100 is cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, um, it's a long road to get there, so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What do you think is the key to, to longevity in a sitcom? Just keeping it fresh. I think, um, you know, trying to come at familiar storylines with a little fresh take, mm -hmm. um, keeping it relevant, mm -hmm. you know, um, and then the chemistry of the characters. You know, the two main characters, Mel and I have, you know, we have just sort of this innate thing. It just definitely. works. So I think people tune in to watch that, really. I definitely agree with that. The, the dynamic between you two is awesome. Do you think it has anything to do with the fact that you were both, you kind of grew up on television, both of you, and you kind of know, like, how everything works. I mean, that could have something to do with it, but it's really kind of an intangible thing, you know, because um, that, that's happened before, and, you know, you could get two great talents together, you know, and, I mean, they try it all the time in movies, right? I mean, they get these two big A-listers together, and it just stinks. I mean, yeah. it, it doesn't work. Yeah. So it really isn't intangible. Why did the cast of Friends all work together? I mean, they've True. tried to recreate that a million times mm -hmm. since Friends, and they've all stunk, you know? So, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's really, you know, you think on paper, it's like putting together, a, you know, a pro sports team on yeah. paper man they should win it all yeah. and they don't even get to the playoffs so sure. you never know we just have that i don't know if it would translate over to drama but comedy we we have it and we've been very lucky to you know be able to milk it for uh, five years so yeah man. yeah man speaking of chemistry how did you feel when when uh mel and joe were going to kind of transition into a more romantic dynamic there? yeah i mean it was interesting it changes the whole direction of the show and Definitely. and but yet we still have to keep kind of the the um you know the heat uh, turned up sort of because uh, the bickering is where sort of our characters mm -hmm. live you know and so they found a really interesting way to do that I mean they, they we didn't lose ourselves by jumping the shark you know yeah. by getting married so you know and having babies or trying to have babies yeah. Th this week we're filming an episode where you know she wants to be pregnant now so uh, you know my guys are swimming upstream and we'll see how good the incubator is I, I, I can't control that I mean I I know that my guys like uh, triathletes so they're working they're good Looks yeah very well put very eloquent yeah, absolutely thank you thank you <laughs> What about the kids on the show? I mean, they started off uh, very young on the show. Did you have a lot of advice for them, uh, having experienced this? I think the best way to lead is just by example. Yeah. You know, the preaching kind of falls on deaf ears and feels like preaching and feels like you're putting upon, you know, yeah. them things that maybe they don't want to hear. But if you lead by example and they see you delivering and they see your work ethic and they see, you know, how you can manipulate the, the lines and the rhythm and the music, because it is a rhythm and music-based sort of art yeah. form, um, I think that they've, you know, that's kind of what they try to emulate, just naturally. You know, you're around people that you see, oh, cool, it's just naturally, human nature, you, yeah. you tend to kind of mimic that. So cool. I think that's happened here a little bit. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And I should say congratulations on the People's Choice Award. I know, man. No, Another, no. I, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool, yeah. I mean, first comedy to ever win for the network. And, yeah. you know, we sort of fly underneath the radar, except for the fans. Um, and uh, to win one of those is pretty cool. Yeah, totally. Because you guys were nominated before a few years. We were. This is our third year in a row. But, you know, to be nominated even is kind of out of the blue because, yeah. you know, we don't get any press like that. We don't, I mean, it's just very contained here, yeah. you know, on this cable net. Yeah. So to sort of outreach like that and have, you know, they have to vote a lot yeah. to get, to get one. That's a very loyal, loyal following. So. Incredibly loyal following. Melissa and I individually have really loyal fans mm -hmm. and um, they st stepped up. So thank you. <laughs> Joey's Angels. <laughs> So what can we expect if you can tell us anything about uh, the fourth season? Um, fourth season is, um, they've really unleashed uh, the reins here. You know, a lot of sex and a lot of, um, <laughs> you know, we're, new, we're newlyweds and, um, you know, she's going to town. She's using every square inch of me, you know. Nice. Yeah. Um, nice family material. It's just not. And uh, the stuff that we're getting away with this season is amazing. I mean, it's amazing the limits that, we, that we're able to push. Ooh. It's crazy. Stay tuned for that, huh? I mean, truly, yeah. we have a show that's going to open up. Um, I've done maybe four or five hundred episodes of television half hour, yeah. and I've never opened up a show like this. I've never even read a show that opened up like this. Oh, wow. It's crazy. Um, that was a great that pitch. Through, the fact that we got it through <laughs> and that it's, that it's going to air, mm -hmm. it's going to blow people away. All right. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, just by mere shock and awe. Right. Yeah. I can't think of a better way to pitch that show. That oh, was awesome. That's it. Tune in, because it's something that you've in. never seen before on half hour television. I mean, it's true. Totally. Yeah, in a kind of a, it's, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. awesome. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like to like this video. Also, subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment with your favorite Melissa and Joey episode. And be sure to watch the 100th episode March 18th on ABC Family. I'm Quinn Marie, explaining it all. Get it?